Have you ever wondered how cells regulate their cycle? It's a complex process, but today we're going to break it down for you. The process of cell cycle regulation is a fascinating dance of proteins and enzymes, and one of the key players in this dance is the maturation promoting factor, or MPF for short. Imagine MPF as a large sized protein, like a molecular switch, that controls the M phase of the cell cycle. This protein is composed of two subunits. Firstly, we have the inert subunit, a bit like a sleeping giant, just waiting for its moment to act. Then we have the kinase subunit, the catalyst that can awaken the inert subunit and other molecules into action. These two subunits work in harmony, controlling the rhythm of the cell cycle with remarkable precision. Understanding their function is like unlocking the secret language of our cells. Now that we understand the basics, let's dive deeper into how MPF regulates the cell cycle. The G2-M transition is a crucial step in cell cycle regulation. But how does MPF come into play? Let's dive in. Maturation promoting factor, or MPF, is a two-part protein. It's composed of an inert subunit and a kinase subunit. This kinase subunit has a unique ability to activate not just the inert subunit, but also other molecules. This activation is what sets the stage for the G2-M transition, where the cell prepares for mitosis or cell division. During the cell's interphase, the inert subunit of MPF remains inactive. This dormancy is due to the presence of an enzyme known as We1. However, this inactivity doesn't last. The activation of the MPF unit is triggered by another enzyme, CDC25. This results in the cyclin molecule binding to the kinase subunit, sparking the start of the M phase. Once the cyclin binds to the cyclin-dependent kinase, the CDK becomes active. With this activation, the G2-M transition begins. The MPF molecules spring into action, adding phosphate molecules to the nuclear envelope. This addition of phosphates causes the nuclear envelope to break down. But MPF doesn't stop there. It also triggers the formation of spindle fibers, an essential part of cell division. This is due to the instability of microtubules caused by MPF. In addition to this, the MPF kinase phosphorylates several substances like histone H1. This action promotes chromosome condensation, another key step in preparing the cell for division. The activity of MPF is further regulated by other components, such as P34. The phosphorylation of P34 helps to control the activity of MPF, ensuring that the cell cycle progresses smoothly and efficiently. So, we see how MPF is instrumental in the G2-M transition, but what happens next? Following the G2-M transition, MPF has several important roles. Let's take a closer look. You see, once the cell crosses the G2-M checkpoint, the actions of MPF are like a well-oiled machine, keeping the cell cycle moving smoothly forward. One of the key actions of MPF molecules is the breakdown of the nuclear envelope. This is accomplished by the addition of phosphate molecules to the envelope, causing it to disintegrate. This breakdown is crucial to the cell cycle as it allows the duplicated chromosomes to move freely within the cell, preparing for division. Now, the MPF doesn't stop there. It triggers the formation of spindle fibers, which are essential for chromosome separation. To achieve this, MPF induces microtubule instability, which in turn leads to the formation of these spindle fibers. The fibers then latch onto the chromosomes, aligning them at the cell's equator, ready for the next phase of the cell cycle. Furthermore, MPF promotes chromosome condensation, a process vital for cell division. This is done through the phosphorylation of substances like histone H1, which promotes the coiling and folding of DNA into condensed chromosomes. This condensation makes the chromosomes easier to separate during cell division, ensuring each daughter cell receives an identical set of chromosomes. But how is the activity of MPF regulated? Well, it's a carefully orchestrated process involving other components like P34. Phosphorylation of P34 regulates the activity of MPF, 
providing a control mechanism to ensure the cell cycle progresses at the correct pace and in the right order and there you have it. That's how cells regulate their cycle through the complex yet fascinating mechanism of MPF. This intricate process driven by MPF and regulated by other components ensures the successful division of cells, playing a fundamental role in the growth, development and repair of our bodies.